In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of photo printing. If you love capturing memories and want to bring them to life, then this one's for you. We'll be exploring the best portable photo printers of 2023, which promise to turn your digital memories into tangible keepsakes. So whether you're a professional photographer or a casual smartphone snapper, stay tuned and let's unlock the magic of instant on-the-go printing. You can also find the links to the discussed printer in the description, so you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Canon IV Mini Photo Prints. Canon's improved IV Mini prints good-looking photos and stickers at competitive running costs, making it an excellent smartphone companion for little on-the-go pics. Canon has worked very hard to make its IV portable printer screen fun. It's compact, available in a number of color options, and equipped with wrist strap eyelets for portability. All in all, it could be the perfect accessory for a tween shutterbug. The Canon IV uses 2x3-inch zinc photo paper with a peelable backing, allowing users to turn their photos into stickers. During testing, the Bluetooth connectivity was reliable, enabling a smooth printing process. Many images I sent to IV finished printing within 50 seconds. That said, the colors were slightly muted, looking less vibrant than they had on my smartphone. Many of the test prints took on a slightly bluish hue, turning pinks into dull purples. Skin tones often suffer from this same issue. As with many of the mobile photo printers I tested, the battery life is lackluster. You can easily print more than a dozen photos on a single charge, but you'll want to bring a charging cable if you need any more than that. At number two, it's Kodak Step. The inexpensive Kodak Step instant mobile photo printer churns out attractive, business card-sized photos with adhesive backing at reasonable running costs. With a footprint of only 4.5 by 3.0 by 1.0, the sleek, lightweight design of the Kodak Step makes it easy to slip into a small purse, backpack, or even a pocket. Setting up the Step was easy. Its companion app, available for iOS and Android, walks you through the process connecting your phone to the portable printer via Bluetooth. During testing, the printer appeared immediately in the app. I was ready to print photos within a few minutes of unboxing the device. Kodak has vastly improved its editing app since the original version of this guide was written. The app's user interface is easy to navigate and offers a wealth of editing choices. There is a wide selection of stickers, filters, and frames to choose from. A college feature will let you assemble your favorite photos into a single print. The step prints photos on 2x3-inch zinc photo paper. This ink-free technology means you don't have to worry about replacing ink cartridges. Printing a photo takes no time at all, as little as 40 seconds for a single photo. The step can churn out 20 photos on a single charge. Once printed, photos appeared crisp with a surprising amount of detail. However, the color reproduction was not always accurate. The Kodak Step's photos tend to take on a reddish hue. Skin tones often appeared too warm. Likewise, black and white photos exhibited a faint pink or red hue in brighter areas of the image. At number three, it's Fujifilm Instax Mini Link. The pocket-sized Fujifilm Instax Mini Link 2 Bluetooth printer relies on instant film for prints and we love the photo quality, but we're less enthusiastic about the micro USB charging and the Instax air filter feature. As one of the smallest models we tested, the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link is perfect for on-the-go fun. The app lets you customize prints by applying filters and adding fun captions. You can also buy photo paper with designs already printed on it to add even more character. This was the only model where photos developed after being printed. I felt like our smartphone had been transformed into a classic Polaroid camera. It was a pleasure watching the photos the Instax produced slowly come to life. That said, impatient photographers might find this charming bit of nostalgia to be a deal breaker. It can take up to five minutes before all the colors in the print finish processing. However, this pokey method of printing speeds things up in another area. Because the photo develops after leaving the printer, it's easier to print a number of photos in quick succession. That makes it great for quickly sharing pictures with friends. We also love that the Instax tells you how many shots it can print before needing more paper. At number four, it's LifePrint Hyperphoto Printer. With its innovative photo to video technology, the LifePrint photo and video printer prove itself an intriguing novelty snapshot printer. At 4.5 by 3.0 by 1.0 and 7 ounces, the LifePrint Hyperprint was by far the smallest and lightest we tested. It was also the fastest by far, taking around 30 seconds to print a photo. Some of the speed comes from using zinc, zero-ink technology that combines ink and photo paper. But the resulting 2 by 3 photographs were the worst of any portable photo printer we tested. The images were very soft, lacking any crisp detail. We noticed subtle artifacts in areas of solid color. The colors were also muted compared to the other printers. 
On the positive side, the LifePrint app did have a lot of customization options, including the unique ability to turn a still photo into a short video through augmented reality. Using the app, you can hover your camera over a photo and it will come to life for a few seconds. It's extremely gimmicky, but it's kind of neat the first few times you try it out. This printer also has its own social network to share videos and images. Looking at some of the features, it's clear LifePrint is aiming for a younger audience. They're prioritizing fun over print quality, but that may be exactly what you want. At number 5, it's Victor PT320. The Victor PT320 was the wild card in our test group. While we hadn't heard much about this company's hardware beforehand, the Victor continued to pop up in our research. After seeing glowing reviews on several e-commerce sites, we decided to try it. Unfortunately, the Victor started getting sketchy as soon as we began setting up for testing. While setting up the printer using a Bluetooth connection, it appeared on our smartphones as a Kodak printer. This conflicted with the Victor's instructions that the device will appear in our Bluetooth pairing list as a photo printer. Since we already had a Kodak printer in our test group, it took quite some time to sort this issue out. We also noticed the printer's companion app was an almost identical clone of the Kodak Mini 3 Retro's app. The only distinguishable difference is that it was missing the Kodak logo. We reached out to Victor with our concerns. The company responded, telling us it uses the same manufacturer as Kodak for its portable printer. It's certainly not unheard of in the tech world for two different companies to use the same manufacturer, but they typically offer different features and app interfaces to differentiate themselves. Even after finding the printer in our Bluetooth settings, our problems continued. We had nothing but issues trying to connect this portable photo printer to our Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The app would see the printer and tell us it was connected. Then, when we tried to print a photo, it produced an error. The problem? No printer was connected. After four hours of playing with the Victor's settings, we gave up and contacted customer service. Victor doesn't offer a telephone helpline, so we had to send an email. Their response was to send us a link to a YouTube video about connecting the printer to your smartphone. There was nothing resembling troubleshooting. Attempting to connect the Victor to an iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhone X yielded identical results. And with that, we come to the end of our review.